Hey, what's up, guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Today, we're going to take a look at the 12 biggest changes that were made from FS19 to FS22. These are things that you should know before jumping in because there's quite a few things that have been changed and may be a little confusing if you don't know what to expect. If you like videos like this or you want to see more Farm Sim 22 stuff in general, make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. That out of the way, let's jump right in. At the number 12 spot today, we have character customization. At Farm Sim 19, we only had a couple different things. We only had a couple different characters that we could choose from, and only a few different shirt colors and a vest, hat, sunglasses, things like that. Here, things have been changed dramatically. You've now got 12 different people that you could choose from, however you like. We've also got a ton of hairstyles, so choose whatever you like through there. You can even change the color of it. You want white hair? Go for it, you can do it. Beards, you got them. Mustaches, you got them. Hey, different t-shirt colors, you want that? Sure. Now, one thing about this is you have to pick the outfit and then select the color. So you could do it that way, or you could just select anything you want be a mad driver you'd be a beekeeper with a big white setup right here however you want you can even change this up to pink if you really really want to there's tons of different things to choose from here you can really create your own character boots hats gloves whatever you're looking for Rock and roll, baby. I love character customization in Farm Sim 22. Next up is the different size bells that we've got in Farm Sim 22. So you may know in 19, we had one size bell. We had 4,000 liter round bells and 4,000 liter square bells. Well, as far as I've been able to find, we don't even have 4,000 liter bells anymore. In front of us right here, we've got all of the different size bells that you can make in Farm Sim 22. For round bells, we have a 125 centimeter across, we have a 150 and a 180. And as far as square bells, we technically have five different ones that you can make. We've got baby bells right here, 120 centimeters. We've also got a stack of 14 of those and it actually stacks them together. You can also break those apart and use them individually. And then you've got your normal square bells. These are 180 centimeters long, 220 and 240. The biggest thing to know about these is you're not going to get the same thing. For example, over here in square bells, if we take just these three square bells right here, there's going to be 5,000 liters of grass, 6,000 liters of grass, and 6,500 liters of grass. However, if we go over here to straw bells, for example, the smallest bell is actually 7,000 liters not 5,000 liters like it was in grass. Middle one, 8,250, unlike the 6,000 that it was for grass. And the largest one is 9,000 liters instead of the 6,500 that it was for grass. So bells are much different depending on what you're bailing up. Could be a round bell, could be a square bell. Regardless, just a heads up, they're going to be much different than they were in 19. And they're actually much different from each other in 22. Really cool there. Number 10 on our list today is used equipment. Now, this was not even a feature in Farming Simulator 19. You had to use a mod for this, and console players couldn't even take advantage of it, which really stunk. In Farm Sim 22, you got used equipment. Now, these are just randomly generated things that have popped up. So you can see I've got a loading wagon, I've got an auger, I've got a bell wrapper, which I could actually use one of these right now. And then we've also got the big John Deere corn header, which I could also use right now. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to buy both of those. But it's really cool that we've got these. So you can see here with the class cargos, it's 53% off of the main price. The reason being, well, it's got 11.1 .1 hours on it and it's been owned for 15 months. So it's going to need to be repaired more often. It's going to need to be repainted more often. And it is going to deteriorate more quickly than something that was brand new. It's got plenty of hours on it. Then we have the hall uh, right here. You can see it's got 13.8 hours. It's been on for 23 months, almost two years. Uh, similar thing right here with the Kloss Roland. It's only been used for 7.9 hours and it's only one year old. And then we've got our corn head right here. It's almost two years old. It's got 18.6 hours on it. So a lot of stuff through here. And one of the neat things is you could still customize it however you want. So you've still got the exact same customization options, which is nice. Put a license plate on there if you want to. Once you buy it, it's gone. 
it is not on the list anymore. And one additional thing with this as well, I've got a couple mods installed that have been created by uh, other members of the community that have shared them with me. This one is one of those. So this is the base game John Deere Corn Header. You can see at the bottom, it's part of the FS22 Private Combine Harder Harvesters Pack, and it is a mod. So yes, used equipment will be uh, from mods will be uh, in the category. That's really cool. At number nine today, we have multiple contracts. Before, you had to use a mod to get multiple contracts. To be fair, you could have as many as you want. At Farm Sim 22, things have been changed ever so slightly. Instead of just one contract, you can actually take on three contracts now. So we've got cultivating contracts here. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and accept one of the contracts. And then we have harvesting. You know what? Let's go ahead and accept one of these contracts. And lastly, you know what? Let's do a plowing contract. So now I've got three different contracts. They don't have to be different though. You can get whatever you want. Boom. We'll pop another harvesting contract in there. So now we've got all three different. We have two harvesting and a cultivating contract. And we can do these in whatever order we want and however we want as well. I knew at Farm Sub 19, at least with the contract thing, if you've got two contracts that are taking the same thing to the same place, sometimes it can get a little bit confusing. So just be aware of that ahead of time. But you've got multiple contracts. You can do multiple things now. Very cool. At number eight, we have to talk about field care. Now, in field care, there's a couple different things that have been added that change up kind of the way we do things. So for example, stones rocks on the field you're gonna need to pick these up you can't just leave them there and then we have mulchers now these could be used to crush uh the crop stubble so after you've harvested and stuff like that you could use a mulcher to rust or to uh crush that all up and it adds to the health of your field then we also have uh spaders right here this is going to go through kind of like a power harrow but it really really digs deep into the ground it's really cool again as you can see up there can be used instead of a plow which is kind of neat and then of course you have rollers which improve the upper soil level quality of your fields I actually use these in the let's play that i just released recently so check that out if you haven't already it's really cool. These push the rocks back into the ground. If you got smaller rocks, it'll push them back into the ground and helps improve the upper layer of the soil. So there's so much more that you have to do now. It's not just cultivate, seed, plow, repeat, or not in that order. You guys know what I mean. It's really cool. Number seven on our list today is build mode can be found right here in construction. So, and yeah, and our player is still there chilling out. That's really, really neat. In here, you could find everything. It's not just placeable buildings anymore like we had in 19. Well, you can actually select your thing overlaps with other objects yeah i i know it does it's trying to lay it on top of straw it's not gonna work but we've got all kinds of buildings all kinds of sheds you can kind of see inside of them see how it overlays with things and then choose however you want through there we've got a ton of stuff that's been added not only that and here we also have our silos so for example if i want to throw down a silo well there you go i've got my silo that i could put down all of that is in here. However, that's not the only thing that's in here. We also have our productions that are in here. So maybe you've got uh, your dairy or maybe you want to put down a great processing unit. This is where you're going to go. Some of these are already placed down on the maps as part of uh, the map itself. Some of them are not. So that's where you're going to be getting those. You've also got extra cell points that you can place down. For example, if you don't have a biomass heating plant, put one down. It's totally cool. You could do that if you want to. And here is also where you're going to find your animals. So your cows, horses, pigs, sheep, chickens, and bees. And of course, little baby puppy. You've got all of that in here. Questions were asked? Yes, we do have baby animals, but not visually. You can buy two kinds of animals. You can either buy them as uh, younglings or zero years old. Or you can buy them uh, where they're in their maturity, where they'll go ahead and start uh, developing. And then, of course, you have decorations. So this is where you're going to be finding your fences, your lights, a couple of little smaller sheds, things like that. You really cool there. And finally, landscape mode. In here, you're going to find all your sculpting tools, painting, trees, and of course, plants. This is way different than 19. Way different. Number six on our list is maybe not something that's different, but new. This is brand new for Farms of 22. We've got packs let's say for example you've just started on your farm you're in farm manager and you're like you know what i'm just gonna do grain harvesting you can go in here you could buy every piece of equipment in this pack 
and it will tell you exactly what you need. So we need a tractor. We need a harvester and a header and a header trailer and a trailer in general and a cultivator and everything through there. Uh, also, if you've got modded stuff, it may appear in here as well. So just heads up there. These will all be good for that. It's really neat. Let's say you want to do grapes. Well, here's everything you need for doing grapes, potato harvesting and planting and everything. All the potatoes, even a bag of seeds right here, a pallet of seeds. Don't want to do that. Maybe you want to do some forage. Well, here you go. You've got all of that. <laughs> and of course, you've got your hay bale, silage bale, and a round straw bale there as well. That's pretty cool. Doing animals. Sure, you got it all here. Winter work. You've got it. This is neat because it takes the guesswork out of doing work in general. If you need something, go into the packs. You'll be able to help you out. You knew this one was going to be on the list. Number five, AI workers. There are so many things that workers can do. You can jump in your piece of equipment. You jump in the AI worker menu and it shows you, okay, here where I am. Let's create a job. I got trailers hooked up so I can deliver stuff. I can load and deliver. So it will go to my silo and pick up some stuff and take it to a sell point. And then you can go from there and loop it or not. So you can make it keep selling, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You can even go to, so I could just tell it, hey, go to the middle of field 31 and stay there if you want. If you've got something that's got a cultivator in or something like that, you can select it to go to a specific field that you own and Get to work. You tell, hey, go over here, get to work. Uh, things like bailing and stuff like that, that's not gonna be in here, but you are gonna find a lot of stuff that will be useful and make things a little bit easier for you. The AI worker menu is so in-depth. I'm gonna have to make a separate video completely on this one thing, but just know uh, you definitely gotta try this out. At number four, something totally different. It's not global company and it's not productions quite as it was in 19, it is production chains here we're in front of the grain mill one of the things that's on the usa map and you simply go over to this and it's gonna ask you to buy it so of course you need to buy it in order to use it but you can see here i've got 267,000 liters of wheat in here and i'm making flour and you can see it is set to storing it's gonna put it here and then i can take this wheat right here or the uh, flour rather, and I can send it to the bakery, which then can be used to make cake or it can be used to make bread, stuff like that. And then I can sell those things afterwards. This is so cool. I'm gonna be trying to take advantage of this as much as possible. We've also got a full menu of it right here so you can see everything that you need there. We even have a price table. For example, I could go in here and say, okay, wheat, grain mill, this is what they're buying it for. However, you're gonna be using it, you're gonna get flour all right well let's click on flour then it's going to show you where you can take stuff now all these are going to give you um basically sell points for it also if you can buy flour anywhere that will pop up here but the bakery will turn it into other things like bread and we can see for bread over here we can then sell it all and i gotta be honest with you five thousand dollars for bread sounds much better than $1,100 for wheat. Just me. Number three on today's list is vehicle straps. That is right. You can now strap down the vehicles. Now, of course, the straps are just kind of going across and they're not actually going through the equipment, but it simulates strapping them down and you can, we'll do it with pretty much whatever you want. Here we've got a Kloss and I've got a trailer. I've got the wide setup on it and I got a raw smash combine harvester. And I'm going to put this Ross Best Combine Harvester up here. Now, of course, you need to make sure you get the appropriate trailer for the appropriate equipment. So a trailer like this might be a little bit small in real life for this Combine Harvester. But I'm still going to do my best to make it work. Hopefully I've put it up there enough. Is it going to push it? Eh, only slightly. And you can see the Harvester kind of bumps a little bit when I put the straps down because it is now strapped on there. I could go over jumps and and anything I want, and that harvester is going to stay right on that trailer. You can see, no matter where I go, it is on there. Even going down at an angle, just like that. Dangerous, but it's not going anywhere. For example, I'll go ahead and take the straps off, and I'm assuming immediately it's just going to fall off. Yeah. <laughs> Just like so. So just, you know, be careful with it. But it is really cool and definitely makes for 
awesome pictures like this with an ADAR, uh, ADAR-T and an ADAR-X on the back of the Load King. That's a beautiful picture right there. At number two, I had to put this here because it's so cool. It's manual transmissions and your gear shift modes. You've got automatic and manual. And if you guys are on PC, you've also got manual with clutch. To my knowledge, the manual with clutch has been removed from consoles because there was no uh, button attached to it. And I even tried doing manual with clutch with a Xbox controller on PC. And yeah, it wasn't work. I mean, it worked. I had to remap it, but that's beside the point. You don't want that. So if you want to go with automatic, which is pretty standard, you can see right here, we got our John Deere 7, our 4755 and I'm in first gear. We'll go ahead and start it up and it'll take me through the gears. It will put it in the appropriate gear. So you can see we've actually kind of climbed up to 15th gear pretty quickly. Now this is a manual transmission, not a power shift. So it's got 15 gears. Slow it all the way down. Maybe you want to back up, puts it in negative three and reverse number four. So all kinds of stuff there. Now, if I want to change these myself, well, I would come in here and put this into manual. One of the things is you have to be pressing the gas pedal for it to go. So you can see here, I've got it locked in first gear. I've got a ton of torque, probably 10 times the amount of torque that you would generate at any other setup. Or I could stick it in third gear, fourth gear. And I keep rocking up. I'm pressing the gas and I'm pressing up and down on the D-pad. That's going to work on Xbox, PlayStation, and if you guys are on PC, using a controller. If you've got a steering wheel hooked up, your paddle shifters work just fine. And if you've got your gear shift set up for it on PC as well, you could set that. Just cut it E. And of course, if I just want to drive around in 15th gear, I can. It gives me normal amount of torque and I could drive around without any issues whatsoever. Even sit here on a hill, doing a hill start in 15th gear, I can do it. But you've got other options. Brake is brake. The only thing I don't, uh, you know, it is what it is, is you have to be pressing the gas in order to put yourself in neutral and then put yourself in reverse gears. So there is that. Be heads up there. If you're stopping, you're probably going to be using your uh, gears as a brake. So uh, we'll do a little test right here. We'll go to here and I'll hit slam on the brakes. Okay, stops pretty quickly, but I'm not going in reverse. Let's go from here and we'll drop it down into reverse. And not too bad. Kind of works just about like the braking does. So use manual transmission only if you want to. Uh, there's definitely some specialized cases for it, but if you want to drive around normally and not have to worry about it, simply stick it in automatic and you'll be just fine. And lastly, the biggest change from 19 to 22 is seasons and seasonal cycles. It is now called seasonal cycles and is no longer called just seasons anymore because seasons was a mod. It formed some 17 and 19. And at 22, there are cycles. So it is seasonal cycles. And here we have four different settings that we could use to change things up. We've got seasonal growth. So you could turn this on and off if you want to. If you hit yes, seasonal growth will be on and you're going to have to use the seasonal calendar for that. So this will tell you, hey, this is where you are. You're in January. You can't do anything. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you'll have to go from there. And then of course, if you're in March, and April and May, things like that, well, you can plant things then, and then you can get to harvesting later on in the year. So that's all the stuff that we've got there, at least for season. So yes or no, you can turn that off. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want, and it will not matter. You can also pause it if you want to as well. And pausing it will basically turn everything off. Days per month, hey, one day per month, 28 days per month. So if you're doing one day per month, that is basically three day seasons. If you're used to that type of thing, I always recommend three day seasons anyway. Gives you the most amount of doing the least amount of time. You do two, three, whatever you want. Each one of these days, as far as I can tell, nothing's really going to change in between these days. So just a heads up there. Fixed visual month. I have to set on July because that's basically what farm sim, all of them beforehand were. They were set in the middle of summer all the time. I could change this up if I want to. You want to see December? I just changed it to December. That's going to make making uh, like thumbnails and stuff like that pretty cool. And you could also turn it off and it will basically change it. Yeah, you saw the lighting changed. And now 
It's actually paying attention to what Seasons actually is. Or change it up to however you want. I'm gonna go to July, legs it out of there, and then things should come through, change up lighting, everything like that. Actually, the top, you can see it's 16 o'clock in the evening. Boom, just like so. I love it. I love that so much. Plus, snow on and off. There you go, seasonal cycles number one. And there you go, that is the 12 biggest changes from Farming Simulator 19 to Farming Simulator 22 that you need to know about. Hope you learned something new and I hope this video was valuable and informative. If it was, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed if you're new and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Hope it's it. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you later.